Eyes of Europe. Now, Bill Ash has written a book called Under the Wire, which recalls his astonishing experiences, being shot down, captured, tortured, and then sent to the POW camp where the Great Escape took place. The Imperial War Museum is currently staging an exhibition about that mass breakout, and it was there that Phil Bales met this great escaper. They were the original cooler kings, thrown into German punishment cells because they kept escaping from prisoner of war camps. Jimmy Jones broke out 15 times, Bill Ash a dozen. Like Douglas Bader, whose widow they met today, these men risked bullets in the back in their determination to rejoin the war. What the Germans said when you were captured and for the first time and, and all that, for you, the war is over. And we wanted to say, no, the war is not over for us. We'll go on fighting you and trying to escape and uh, forcing you to increase the number of troops you have on guard and all that sort of thing. And so that, that was part of it. Bill Ash didn't even have to fight. An American at just 21, he volunteered to fly Spitfires before his country came into the war. At the Imperial War Museum, he showed me a replica of the camp he finally escaped from, Stalag Luft III, immortalized in the 60s movie classic, The Great Escape. Steve McQueen is Tinseltown's version of the Cooler King, in and out of solitary. Bill Ash is cool about suggestions that McQueen's character is partly based on him, but motorcycles were strictly Hollywood. The gritty truth in Bill's book, Under the Wire, is about constant danger from the Germans and from the conditions in the tunnels they excavated towards beckoning freedom. 80 prisoners escaped through a tunnel just this size in the Great Escape in 1944. It was much longer than this, though, as long as 10 London buses. Finally, at the end of the war, after several failed escape attempts, Bill was back in Stalag Luft III. Determined as ever, when the guards were distracted, he made a run for it through these woods, free at last. What was that moment like when you finally did get away? Well, always, always, whenever you found yourself on the other side of the wire and you were out, you had a sense of freedom. It was absolutely remarkable. You wanted to, you could, couldn't do it, of course, but you wanted to shout and scream and sing songs and all that just because it was such a pleasure. Freedom, though, evaded fiction's cooler king, as in life, most escapes were doomed to fail. Phil Bales, London Tonight. Didn't show the bit with the trousers. You know, with the earth going down the trousers yeah. when they were digging Tom, Dick and Harry? Absolutely. It's a, a brilliant film. Superb. Mm. But, you know, a, a, you know, the Colditz drama was on the other mm. evening as well. The thing that I find quite extraordinary is that they weren't escaping just to get out of the horrible conditions in the camp, but it, so that they could get back and join the fight. I mean... Yes, absolute duty, wasn't it? Absolute sense of duty. Mm. Quite remarkable. Anyway, there we are.